Okay, let's go to both in the dressing room. We both know I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both watch your heads. Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. Marcel, five and foot six and a half. 12, Stocky, barrel-chested sort of fighter against the more rangy Derry Matthews. Marcelli a southpaw, that will create its own problems. Matthews, though, coming back so well in his recent contests when he suffered that defeat against Choi, and then following on with that defeat against Martin Lindsay, Harry Ramagodi, Scott Lawton. It looked as though it was the end of the line, but here he is. Staggering, John, when you think four stoppage defeats in such a short space of time. He looked like a crushed and beaten fighter. I thought we'd seen the last of him, John, I really did. Well, he's one of the most likeable lads in boxing. Articulate, creates a very good image, despite the uh, nickname, the ring nickname, Dirty Derry Matthews, and Dirty, you see there around the waistband, that, uh, I think, was something which he was uh, dubbed after that foul strewn contest against John Simpson a few years ago. Even out, he didn't like the showers at the Salisbury Club where he boxed. Wouldn't be surprised if the showers here were cold. I don't think they've got showers here, John. It's a form of circus. They don't have showers at a circus. Hoses. This, this guy, Marcelli, John, I'm, I'm trying to work out why he's come out of Italy. It's well, not for a payday. I mean, you know he's not getting some stupid amount of money. He's come out of Italy, John. I've worked it out. I've been speaking to some people here at ringside. He's come out of Italy because he thinks he can win. Well, certainly speaking to his trainer beforehand, they're talking very confidently about this. They say he's quick, he's a good mover, and he can fight off the back foot, and he's a southpaw. And he's a 35-year-old Steven, though. That makes him a strong, tough, and durable man. And all his mates have come a long way as well to support him. They've not come over expecting somebody to lie down and just play the role of the opponent. It's more than that. He's coming here with belief. And I always like it when I look at an Italian corner or a Spanish corner, and it's a group of ugly-looking, tattooed, tough men. And that's what he's flown in with here today. He hasn't flown in with half a dozen guys who looks like they just walked off the set of La Dolce Vita. Look at that mob in the corner. That's a rough old mob. This is not Milan. This is not the fashion capital in that corner. It is not. I don't think they picked up what you were saying there, Steve. Maybe the interpretation will come at some point in the future. If it didn't. didn't. He, started, he started with a lot of belief, Marcelli. He's been the quicker man. There's a bounce about him as well. And Matthews is taking a look at him, just working out the style. Been stuck sparring an undefeated southpaw, Terry Flanagan, in the run-up to this, Matthews. And his big mate, Joe Tonks, his I would golfing buddy. I would imagine that Derry's a bit surprised by the speed, John, because there's not a lot available of this guy on YouTube or anywhere else. And the one thing that is available when you actually look at it is he doesn't look this fast. I think Derry's a bit perplexed by the absolute by the speed of the kid, or the man. We last fought in July, Marsili, when he had a first-round knockout in defence of his Italian title. I'll tell you what, he started well there. He has started well. You know that they've conditioned him properly in the gym. And it wasn't just a knockout, if I'm not mistaken, John. It was only 24 seconds. So that's, that's hardly worth getting in the ring for. Do you give him that first round, Marsili? Oh, you've got to give it to Marsili for that first round. Derry looked surprised by the speed, John. He looked genuinely surprised. Not often that you see Matthews being made to look a wee bit ponderous, and I'm afraid to say that the lights have just gone out. Now, last time this happened here, it was somebody who just pulled a switch. So hopefully they know exactly where it is. It and it well. again. Somebody tell them that there is a switch which has just been turned off. And it needs switching on again. It was unplugged out in where the truck is, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, John. I believe so. Some local scoundrel. Some scully. Round two. Well, they're saying round two. Surely they can't continue. And Howard Foster ordering them to the corners, and quite rightly, the referee's saying, no, we can't have this. No, we can't. We can't have a fight continuing in this light, I don't believe. He's very, very surprised. 
Oliver Harrison still up there on the ring apron. Speaking to the referee, Howard Foster, Doncaster man. And we wait to see what happens. Was it here that the, that the lights went out? You know what, John? I'm thinking it was here. No, no, it was in um, Scotland, when we were up in Scotland, do you remember? Oh, you're right, Motherwell. Motherwell, yeah. That was a nice trip, wasn't it? Another lightweight title fight, British lightweight title. Anthony Crawler on that occasion. What a performance against Willie Lyman that was, John. Well, while we wait, we'll have a quick chat with the boys, and uh, I'll go back up to uh, Jim Rosenthal. Jim, keep us going, please. Very much indeed, John, while we wait uh, for the, the lights uh, to come on. Uh, let's have a little word with, uh, with Stephen, shall we? Now, you're a fighter in there, it all goes black, you've got to stop. What effect does that have on you? effect at all. <laughs> They've come back on. It must yeah. have been you. You've got power in this part of the world, haven't you? Let's get back to the action. Well, they found a few quid for the meter and the action's underway again. No bad jokes, John. No bad jokes. So it is the second round. An unscheduled interruption. That's a nice, nice right-hand lead from Marsili. Also, Marcelli is doing something. It's one of the oldest southpaw tricks in the book. He's stepping on Derry's left foot. He's done it every single time he's led off, and it just stops Derry from working. He looks the part, doesn't he? There's a business night like look about Marcelli. All the uh, stereotypes about Italians not being particularly good travellers, so far as uh, boxing's concerned. Well, he started well. A lot of those fights he's had, John, I know they've all been in Italy, but they've been competitive fights. A lot of the guys he's fought have had decent records. His one draw was against the guy who just mysteriously vanished the year afterwards. Giovanni Nero. Yeah, and he had about 17, and he has on box for a couple of years. And the other guys, have had one or two have had, you know, stinker records, but most have had decent records. Massive winning records, 16, 15 wins, one defeat, that type of stuff. Mario, so, Mario Masse, who is... The trainer of Marcelli has been with him since he was 15 years old, and he's had uh, the Brancos. He looked after them as well, Silvio and Gian Branco. They, they were such tough boys, Silvio especially. Fortuny was about 43, didn't he? He came back and won a world title. It was ridiculous. It was madness. I remember him fighting, uh, fighting Richie Woodall donkeys years ago and then Telford. still going 15 years later. Telford ice ring and it was freezing in there, we had to stand on the seats, we couldn't put our feet on the floor. And in fact, when he came back and won a proper world title, like the WBA world title, Richie had already switched and was working with us on the inside. That's right. Well, Marcelli has still not been tagged clean by Matthews. And he's now having to absorb a couple himself, Matthews. Marcelli is really fighting with belief here, and the danger signs are certainly there in this fight now for Derry Matthews. Is this going to turn out to be a spectacular miscalculation? It's the speed jump. Derry has not can't deal with the speed. It's simply the speed. There's blood coming from the nose of Matthews, the nose which was damaged so badly in that fight against Gavin Rees. The fight which ended as a technical draw when Reese was ahead on the scorecards. European title fight, he could have had a rematch. Chose against having that, went this way instead, and this is what he's having to cope with. And it's not, in, you know what, John, it was obvious after 10 seconds. Listen, not going to be an easy night. Listen to those Italian fans, they're the ones who are standing up, cheering and chanting. There are only 40 or 50 of them, but by goodness, they're making some noise. And they're going to, them to shout louder than this crowd here. Disturbing signs in that round, John. Caught repeatedly and looked like he was hurt. Two rounds to Marcelli on our court, on our cards. There's the damage to the nose. Very quiet advice coming in from Oliver Harrison as ever. There he's got to get away from having his foot trapped. On both occasions, those right, those left hands went in, he had his foot trapped. He's got to get away from that. He's got to get his left foot outside of Marcelli's right foot and come in over the top. That's what he's got to do. He's got to come in with looping left, almost like a left hook. And he's got to take, he's got to be offensive, John. He's got to get over that front foot. Well, Matthews is a big favourite for this one principally based on the fact that not too many people knew too much about 
Emiliano Marsili in this country, apart from the fact that he's the Italian champion, hasn't been defeated. But is it that he has also been hugely underrated, I wonder? Matthews has got to find some sort of rhythm and find the range. He's not landed anything meaningful yet. He hasn't landed anything meaningful. A frown from Marsili. I think Matthews indicated it was a low blow and, and Marsili just basically frowned him off, which is a new expression I'm going to use from now on. <laughs> <laughs> At last, a right hand from Matthews, I think, did manage to find its way through onto this elusive target. That's better. Matthews jabbing better there. The head's going close. There was a bang then, John. Mil Miliano Marcelli didn't like it much either and indicated to the referee that he thought that the headbutt had been deliberate. There he's got to force him back. He's nowhere near as effective off his back foot, Marsili, as he is when he's coming forward and stepping on Derry's foot. He's got to push him back, John. Interesting to see who is going to turn out to be the physically stronger. Marsili has the look of a very strong man. It's better from Matthews. Far better. Listen to the reaction of the British crowd, of the Liverpudlian supporters. First time they've really had something to shout about. Marsley in no yeah. sense hurt. In fact, he fired counters off the ropes there. Derry's got to be a little bit mindful of that. It's pressure, but it's sensible pressure that will win this fight, John. Nothing stupid, nothing outrageously heroic. That stirred up the fans. Marsley had to take three or four shots, which I think did find the scoring target. Matthews badly needs a lot more of the same. Proving to be hard to tag. Ooh, that's no knockdown. There was definitely a straight left. Then I think he was bundled over. We'll watch that in replay, John. There is a half argument. Twenty seconds to go. Hard Foster straight away said no knockdown. There he's got to get closer, John. He's got to try and force him back. Well, he had that flurry, but he's not done a lot else apart from that. Best little spell of the fight so far. And there goes the end of an interesting third round. I know what you're going to ask me, John, and I've got to tell you, I've got to give it to Marcelli, even though there was about a minute in the middle. Matthews had his best spell of the fight, but not enough. No, nope, I don't think it was enough. Now, there's that left... Now, oh, I tell you what, there's a left there hand a to the chin. And then there's a push. So there's a punch and then a push. There. Whoa. No, no I don't know. I think it would have been harsh to have given that... It would have been there. harsh, but you could... As we said in an earlier fight, John, you've seen them given. He was helped on his way, and I think that's what counted against okay. Marsili. John, devil's advocate, won't shout it too loud. It had been the other way around. Point made. The IBO title on Steve Bunce's card. This man, Emiliano Marsili, has won the first three rounds. One British judge, one Italian judge, and one American judge will be deliberating on this one. Matthews just hasn't worked him out. Jabs of Matthews were falling short. Well, and, and you know what? This guy's bouncing. Maybe there he's got to somehow read that rhythm. He's got to try and read that rhythm. And if he's pushing the guy back, the guy hasn't got any rhythm. He's going back. He can't do anything off his back foot. Oliver's got to get in to step it up and step closer. Marcelli, 35 years old. Only became a pro at the age of 26. 
married with a 12-year-old daughter, and he says, forget my age, I'm in the best form that I've ever been in. The crowd imploring Matthews to up it. It's a good right hand, body shot, and another one from Matthews, but he's taking a risk by doing this. Matthews keeping his composure this time. Marcelli easily taking everything that's thrown at him and coming back and repaying it with a little bit of interest now. Matthews doing a pretty good job of blocking a lot of this. Uppercut did get through. I think blood from that nose John, I saw Derry dab it before he went into that area just there. It looks a mess. It does look a mess. It's dark, dark blood. You can't see from that camera angle, but it's, there's a mask of blood on the face of Matthews now. And we're only in the fourth. Marcelli's fans are all standing. Bellowing their encouragement, that's a great shot from Matthews. Best punch so far, but blood is seeping from his nostrils and has got to be affecting his breathing. What a tough round. Matthews training on instinct, being forced to. Absorbs another left hand, absolutely flush. I said he was gambling to try and mount this body attack and he has he paid the price. Big headshots and a lot of damage to the face of Matthews as he makes his way back to the corner and they'll have to go to work now. He was gritting his teeth there, John, you saw it. He was caught, he stumbled back. He, he knows that he's against it here and I think he knows he's blowing dark blood out of his mouth. He knows that nose is damaged. He knows he hasn't got the rest of this fight in him. He's got to do it quicker and that's why he was gritting his teeth so desperately right in front of us here now did Matthews do enough to win that round there's a good shot that was a great shot I think he did enough in that round to win it I really did tough tough round the nose is disturbing John he's visibly visible visibly wincing yes quick spoonerism in there it's hurting it's hurting I saw him dab it just before he went into that area above us where they were head to head and you could see it was hurt then and that's how he's gritting his teeth like he's hiding away and trying to shield pain he's got to grit his teeth he's got to go through this now Matthews perhaps the fighting instinct won in that last round corner's done a decent job just stopping the flow of blood if you ask yourself did he appear to hurt Marcini the brutal and honest truth would be no he didn't and he did catch him several times Marcini's managed to undo Derry's left leg with his foot that's good from Matthews bullies him back the left hook was a hard one and a solid jab this is better from Matthews There's a bear pit atmosphere here, cauldron of excitement. It really is. <laughs> Fitting, because it was a form of bear pit, elephant pit, tiger pit. Matthews boxing well here and just starting to find his target a bit, being able to control matters from range, which is where he needs to be. Well, it was inevitable that the 35-year-old dock worker would slow down, and he had slightly slowed down, John. Howard's going to have to sort that lace out on that left foot soon. Oh! That was flush on the nose, and you could see, again, the facial expressions of Matthews telling you all you need to know. Terry Matthews' left boot, the lace has come undone. stage of the fight, in a sense. He's slowed him down. He's caught, he's caught Marcelli more in this round. It's Marcelli's worst round. And clearly Matthew's best. Oh, 
It was such a fast start from the Italian. But now Matthews has gritted his teeth and is fighting back. Another sharp right hand, piercing the guard. Good combination as well from Matthews. This is his best round by a street. Crowd getting very lively over the other side of the ring. Security man being called into the Matthews corner. It's because people here get very close to the ring, John. It's not trouble, it's just people being close to the ring. That looked like a Matthews round to me by some distance. It wasn't just a Matthews round, it was a round that seemed to turn the fight around because he was clearly under pressure, Marsili not liking it, not liking it one bit. While you're watching this, the repairs are being done again to the face of Derry Matthews. Big effort here, and he was at last finding the range, working behind the jab, and there were some really hurtful right hands. There's the left from Marsili, which you could see really pained Matthews. Oh, short, horrible, concussive shot, travelled six inches direct onto the bridge of the nose. Left eye marked up. That was a good round for Matthews. And I said that I kind of sensed it was an important stage of the yes. fight, and I wonder if that has been the moment when it just began I, I to I think so. It's just when Marsili slowed down, then he realised it and put the pressure on. The Italian fans chanting and trying to rouse their man. The lace on Matthews' boots has been retied. Marcelli's right eye looks slightly damaged. They were working on it with an end swell at the end of that round and also damaged. I'm not sure there's not a minor minor cut. They got a bit of fractures, a bit hectic at ringside towards the end of the last round. But Matthew's left eye is also swelling by the second. And, and underneath under, under, the under, left under, eye. Absolutely, underneath he's got a mouse that came up in that round. We know his nose is damaged. He's been blowing out dark blood for two or three rounds and good on his teeth for the same time. Good fight. Difficult one to pick at this point, and we're not yet at the halfway stage. Steve giving Marsili the first three rounds, and the last, and then the last two. two to Matthews. Absolutely, John, absolutely. Oh, that's a good shot! Big right hand from Matthews, and the crowd responds. Landed absolutely oh. flush. Strike right on Marsili's eye, he didn't like it, John. He'll quit here, John, he'll quit. And Matthews is going to work. He's trying everything at Marsley in a big effort to end this fight right here. He's cut under the right eye. That was from that shot. He's hurt Marsley, John. Both men have blood across their faces. The chance got for Derry Matthews. I think just about everybody in here now standing. Derry's mouse has also split open John now on his underneath his left brow, left eye. This is going to be a bloodbath. But so far as the punches are concerned, oh, forget the damage. Matthews is getting the better of this one in the sixth. Heads clash. Oh. And somehow it looks as though. Marcelli's got blood around the back of his head and now Matthews is under attack and the right, the left eye is a real mess and Marcelli targeting it, oh, body but... shot and he's down! The body shot, the left to the body of Derry Matthews. The count's at seven, eight. Howard Foster having a good look at him. He's allowing it to continue but the pain of the body shot will remain and Marcelli can end it right here. Bundled back, that's no knockdown. Left eye is gruesome, John. The referee says that was a push. The bell goes not a moment too soon for Derry Matthews, who staggers back to his corner, disconsolately hurt. 
blood all over his face. The doctor's going to be looking at that. The referee's going to be looking at that. And that looked like it was going to be a big round for Matthews, but ultimately it went to Marcelli. Well, after that first right hand, and Marcelli backed away, didn't look comfortable, didn't look happy. I thought he might quit, John. I thought he looked in terrible trouble. But I'm looking at Derry Matthews there. He looks battered, he looks bruised. We know he's damaged from the nose, we know he's having trouble breathing. And now his left eye, which you noted earlier with the mouse, it's cut, it's swelling, they're working furiously. I'm not sure if a minute's going to be enough here, John. And bear in mind, there's it's also been dropped by a body shot. A lovely little body shot. There was the knockdown, now look here. They're patching up that left eye. Well, he's not going to be pulled out, he's going to continue, he's not quit, but the left eye's a mess, he's been hurt by the body shot, and we are now into the seventh round. That had to be scored a 10-8 for Martelli. Matthews now has a huge task. Marcelli going to work again, and Matthews is in reverse gear. John, I get the idea that nose is paining him. He seems to wince whenever he's caught anywhere near it. Ah, oh, look at those. Three, four land on the target. Now the body shot. Brave work from Matthews, fighting back off the ropes. Physical strength of Marcelli bullying Matthews back. You sense that he might be one big body shot away from winning this fight now. Or one small body shot away. Matthews is in desperate straits now, and the fight is all over. The referee has stopped it. It is all over in the seventh round, and Emiliano Marcelli is the IBO champion. The fight has been stopped. Matthews doesn't like it. But Marcelli, he showed himself that he would not be intimidated in this most hostile of atmospheres. And he wasn't. He needs to maybe calm down a bit now, though, and not celebrate quite so jubilantly. Derry didn't really complain too hard, John, did he? He complained, but he wasn't too hard. Well, Oliver Harrison in there applauding Emiliano Marcelli. And that, I think diffusing some of the anger good. and disbelief of the crowd, thankfully so. Yeah, well, the good thing was there were people at ringside there who looked like they were screaming, sitting next to Stephen Vaughan over there, screaming for it to be stopped. He had damage completely all over his face. Plus, we know he was hurting from that nose injury sustained last year. Obviously hurt again about four rounds back. Well, there's a sporting round of applause for Derry Matthews. And you say now for him, where does he go? Emiliano Marcelli, he told us that at 35 he was in the form of his life and that he wants a European title. One look at him told us that he was a real pit bull of a fighter. Steve Bunce said that even his corner man looked tough. Yeah. He was a hard man and a deserved hey, winner. That sounds facetious, but I, I, I wasn't being facetious, I was telling the truth, John. When you see a corner come in like that, they're prepared, they look professional, they've got the equipment, they look, they look like they've worked together as a team and they all look like rough so-and-sos, OK? And that, that's... I was impressed with it. That meant that they were ready, that meant that they were prepared. And I'll tell you one thing, I'm convinced Oliver Harris and Stephen Vaughan at ringside, and also Derry Matthews, I'm convinced they were stunned by Marcelli's speed. It gave him the first couple of rounds, clearly, and it, that, that's when the damage was done to the nose. I'm convinced of it. So it's a disconsolate Derry Matthews and his dream of a title has been swept aside here, bullied aside, by Emiliano Marsili, and the IBO title is his, and here is Mark Burdis to confirm that. Ladies and gentlemen, at 1 minute 21 seconds of round 7, your referee, Howard Foster, has stopped the contest. He deemed Derry Matthews was in no position to continue. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and the new IBO, World Lightweight Champion from Lazio, Italy, Emiliano Marsili. He brought over 
a contingent of his fans there Ladies now in celebratory mood. He is as well. And nice there to see that Derry Matthews raises his glove. And the rest of the crowd, John. Let's get that right. And the rest of the crowd. There are plenty of cities worldwide where a fight like that could have resulted in aggravation. You know what I'm saying. And this isn't one of those cities. There's plenty of cities worldwide where that could have turned ugly and nasty at the end. It didn't. And look at them. They're applauding the guy wildly. Well, that's nice to see everybody standing up and they realize that the local hero on the night beaten by the better man the nose injury i think was a crucial factor but he is emiliano marcelli jim the ibo champion